I want to say welcome. Welcome to our 2019 annual meeting. And like any speech or any annual meeting, it should be like a comet. It should be dazzling, it should be eye-opening, and it should be over before you know it. I don't know how I'll do it the first two, but I'll certainly hit the last. As a nonprofit with a mission to serve and a mission to put Christian principles into practice through programs that build a healthy spirit, mind, and body for all, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to a lot of individuals. I want to say thank you to our staff team. You are the people that work inside that give our business life. I want to say thank you to our members. You're the lives that we touch each and every day. I want to say thank you to our donors who help put our mission into practice for all. I want to say thank you to our volunteers who have worked to move us forward. We have a lot to celebrate. We had a great year. Our volunteers have moved the needle. It was our 50th anniversary as an organization, and we touched over 20,000 lives through our membership efforts, programs, financial assistance, and community events. And we say thank you. 2019 was a year where we can all celebrate. It was a year where we celebrated our 50th anniversary as an organization. This was a year where we grew our brand and it served as a capacity building year for a lot of our initiatives. We expanded programs, enhanced fitness, which serves seniors with arthritis. We offered tutoring in our youth development centers. We offered access to new partners like Special Olympics and their volleyball program. And we developed a mobile kitchen that we can take out into the community in businesses, at events, that will help teach healthy eating habits for all in our community. We also did not forget about our facilities. We installed new roofs, we installed new roadside signage, we developed new kids zone and child watch areas, we even invested in new technology like swim bands that help us keep children and families safe. And each one of our branches received new cardio equipment. We also did not forget about our staff team. We continued to invest in training and retreats for our team that continues to take care of our community. We are grateful and blessed. As we continue to highlight all of our accomplishments from 2019, I would like to address the elephant in the room, and that's the COVID-19 pandemic. I hope the way the YMCA responded has made you proud, because I certainly am. You saw our YMCA immediately transition to emergency child care for essential personnel that has now evolved into a school enrichment program to support schools reopening. You saw us continue to partner and provide blood and supply drives. We have provided more payment support than we ever have before. And we have developed a virtual YMCA platform that we could have only dreamed about prior to COVID-19. We have continued to connect with our most vulnerable. We have provided resources to families. We have also provided responsible outdoor programs. And we have had a lot of new learnings of how to operate our YMCA like reservation systems, traffic patterns, cleaning procedures, and new social distancing guidelines. I have been proud of how our team and community have responded, and I say thank you.